Hi everyone, Simona here from VectorTwist. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can recreate the letter A as an impossible A. Here's a sketch I made, and with simple shapes here in Illustrator, we're going to recreate it. This is a really good exercise if you want to recreate something here in Illustrator. Often, you just need to find out the simple shapes you need to start with. And in our case here, it's going to be triangles. Sometimes you might be working with rectangles or circles. And the best way is to assess a sketch or an object that you want to recreate and try to split it up into the simplest shapes. Because all the extras like gradients and colors and shadows and highlights we can add later. I've set the stroke to a red and the fill to none. And then we're going to choose the polygon tool. The polygon tool you find when you press on the rectangle tool. And then you go on to the bottom here and select the polygon tool. Now we're going to click once on the artboard, and here in the pop-up, we're going to set 200 pixels for the radius and sides 3. So this will create a triangle for us. So when we click OK, here's our triangle. Now we're going to move it over to our sketch. And since I already calculated the number for us, the radius 200, for this sketch here, works pretty well. Depending what kind of sketch you have, or whatever you're going to recreate, of course, the number depends on what size you have. Now we want to create a copy. We need four triangles here all together to recreate this impossible A. Now first we're going to select it and then we're going to press the Alt or Option key. And then we're going to drag over a copy. Then with the triangle still selected, we're going to create another copy. So again, Option or Alt key. And then we're going to drag it down here. Then I'll let go. And then one more time, we're going to drag it back up and I'm going to place it into this position. As you can see, I followed the sketch. This triangle down here meets the bottom line and the top triangle meets this line here. Now all we have to do is just create some lines and then later on we can move our triangles into a better place. We need to create a line from here to there and then just below, parallel, another one from there to here. So let's choose the pen tool. And I have my smart guides on, as you can see. If you don't have yours turned on, just go under view and make sure smart guides is ticked. Then I'll press one. I hold the shift key so I have a horizontal line. And then I'll let go. And then I'm going to create another line the same way as before. Now we have all our lines or shapes in place. These we can lock now and these will help us to actually set guidelines to create our shapes we need for this impossible A logo. So let me show you the next step, creating the actual shapes. Next we want to select all of our triangles and lines and then lock the selection. So we're going to object lock selection and then we're going to create our shapes. First we're going to create a new layer, then I'll select it here in the little circle and then I'm going to change the opacity to 60%. So everything that is on this layer will have an opacity of 60%. We're going to create our shapes and we're going to set a fill color. But we still want to see our sketch beneath or our triangles in red. Then we're going to switch the stroke to the fill. And then let's choose a green. And now we're going to choose the pen tool. And then we're going to start creating our shapes. So let's start here. We click once over to the other side, on top, down here to the bottom, up there, and then we'll close it. Later we can tweak the points a little bit, so it's proper and perfect. But this way you can see what we're doing. We're creating the shapes for our Impossible A logo. And then we're going to continue. Just so we can see it better, I'm going to choose a different fill. And remember, we set our layer transparency to 60%. And here, let me show you, if I select everything here with the circle, you can see the opacity of the layer is set to 60%. Now again, back to the orange, the pen tool, and then the next shape. The next shape we're going to create is on top of here. So I go over, follow my red lines, and even though they're locked, the smart guides will still tell me when I'm intersecting with them or on top of them. So I'm going down here. And I'm creating my shape, one up, one over, 
And since the fill would normally cover everything and we wouldn't see what's underneath, but we set our layer transparency to 60%, we'll see everything still. And that helps us really to go and follow our lines that we need to follow. Okay, next we're going to choose maybe a blue. We need another shape here. So we're going to create this shape over, down, and then to the bottom, and we'll close it. Now we just have two shapes to create, one here and one there. Again, let's choose a different color. And then we're going to create the shape, and then one more. And that's it. Of course, we're going to give it the proper colors. If you want to have it in green, or in red, or in blue, we'll switch all of those shapes into that color. But I just wanted to demonstrate here with different colors of what shapes we need to create. Now if I'm going to turn off our red triangles here, and even the sketch, you can see we created our impossible letter A here, with simple shapes in Illustrator. And we started out with triangles, two lines, and then we just locked them, and then we used the pen tool to create the shapes we needed. Now those shapes are the starting point. So for example, if you wanted to create solid colors, we can select all of it, and then let's select the green. Of course now everything disappears and we can't see a definition anymore. So all we have to do is give the stroke a color. So let's give it a black, and you can see it again. And of course, remember we set the layer transparency to 60% opacity. So all we have to do is click everything on this layer, go up to the opacity and set it back to 100%. And this is pretty much how you can create, with really simple shapes here in Illustrator, a logo, or any kind of typography, or geometry. Really the exercise here I wanted to demonstrate was how you can break down a shape or a sketch into simple shapes, and then recreate it in Illustrator. But let me show you the finished Impossible A logo here that I've created. So I'll hide this, and here it is. All I've done here is, I've added the stroke a little bit thicker, and then I added gradient shapes on top. So we have our regular shape here, but then I added another shape on top where I have a gradient going from blue to transparency. Here I'll show you quickly in the gradient panel. I have a solid blue going into transparency, 0% for the blue. And of course, there are easy ways to create multiple colors with your logo here as well. But I leave that for another tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please come back frequently because we're going to have more tutorials coming up about quick tipsy and illustrator, typography, how to create icons, logos and monograms. See you later.